we have epiphany and it's the number nine. If you didn't watch the weekly, I try to give a heads up around this time of year because from like the 88 Lionsgate portal, 9, 9, 10, 10, 11, 11, 12, 12, sometimes going up to 1, 1, um, those repeating dates, there's a lot of energy and a lot of things that start to happen, you know, right before, during, and after around that little time period. Okay. So, and then the effects of it can be far reaching. So this would be the time that if you want to read him, go to angelsouls444.com. You can pose the question. You can do any kind of reading. You can ask the angels anything <laughs> that you want to ask, but you can pose the question of, you know, what's going to spark off here on 9-9 till the end of the year. Um, I will tell you, I have a wait list right now. So if you get in now, what is today? Yeah, you're not going to have, like, if you're trying to do a 9-9 reading, it's too late. You should have gotten in last month, okay? But if you're open to, like, a 10-10 reading, get in now. Or if you want until the end of the year and you want it to kind of start around whatever broke open for you around 9-9, that'll work too. Anyway, get all that out of the way. <laughs> so we have Epiphany, Archangel Raziel. Something's breaking free. You're getting elevated, but if that elevates your ego, you're going to have a crash and burn. Okay. Like we ain't messing with that ego no more. Okay. You think you're special? You think you're special? Okay. <laughs> you got to realize that's not how to harness this energy. There's so much more beauty in cooperating with fellow human beings, right? <laughs> There's so much love there. The potential is there if we connect with one another. So this says joy through spiritual growth, be a light to others, answers that come through meditation. All right. So this is a time where you can't hide anymore. You can't just leave things tucked away and not address it anymore. It just cannot be done. And this is a good thing. Something's coming up that's really freeing. It's really freeing. And it's those kinds of things that like, I didn't know I could be at peace with X, Y, and Z. Maybe you realize I've always defined myself from my pain. I've always just made excuses for bad behavior. I've just accepted that when someone tells me that my perspective is not correct, that they must know better than me. One of the most toxic things someone can do is play devil's advocate. It's fine to have a different perspective. Not okay to diminish someone else's perspective in favor of your own. It's just not done. It's just not done. So these are some of the deconditioning points where you're realizing like, I, I'm going to let that go. Now, part of the epiphany as well is finding your path, figuring out your passion because we get so sort of bogged down with responsibilities and especially in this day and age if you know I'm, I'm sure this is happening around the world but um I'm an American so I can only speak to that experience but it just seems like at every turn there's something that's more expensive something that's going to be harder to make a living or harder to do you know whatever it is that you need like if you need health care it's harder to get access to it like it's been crazy. <laughs> it's been crazy. But the epiphany comes with, you know what? I don't need to let those things block my happiness. Yes, I will contend with them. I will figure out a way. Uh, I will adjust while I still remain happy. But they're saying there's a bigger thing that's going on here. And that is trying to get us to see that what we've been conditioned to want and, and covet is not really anything of value or worth at all. And so because some of these things are going out of your life, it might seem in the moment like it's a horrible thing, but ultimately it gets you seeing a deeper part of yourself where all this clutter, it had to, it had to go. It had to go. It's in process now. So nine is the epiphany. Nine is the beginning of the end. You know, the eight, eight portal I was talking about, we associate that with abundance. We associate that with ascension and, you know, I, I, people love to romanticize it. And it's like, we're going to walk through this portal and then everything's going to be fine. That is not always how it goes. <laughs> that portal is there. Uh, I always imagine being on a roller coaster, but like a really old one that's really jerky and it kind of hurts a little bit. <laughs> like It's sort of like, hey, this thing needs your attention over here. Oof, you know, and now you're yanked over this way. 
And some people find that exciting and they're like, I can't wait to see what's next. I may have found that exciting when I was in my 20s, but not in my 40s. No, thank you. I'd like to, I, I like a little smooth ride. Thank you. Okay. I don't mind the little dips and whatever, but like, <laughs> you got to give me a minute to acclimate. So this is the sort of thing that's happened that it's sort of like that 8-8 eight, eight energy kind of got you moving in a different direction. 9-9, nine, nine, there's going to be information laid out before you and it's coming from source because we've got to shift things here. We cannot keep going in the way that we have. And you can't keep going in the way that you have. So again, angelsouls444.com. We will leave it there. I'm sending you all so much love and take care.